Hello, Julia Abbe here, author of Eva Evergreen, Semi-Magical Witch. I'm here to give a short tutorial on how to create compelling characters. So let me start sharing my screen right now. We'll jump right in. Okay, so how to create compelling characters. This is a quick intro to me. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm the author of Eva Evergreen, Semi-Magical Witch, which comes out August 4th, 2020. And you can find me on the links that are listed on the screen, Julia Abbey Books, uh, on Instagram and Twitter, and also on Facebook and on my website, juliabbeybooks.com. Uh, this is a little, little bit about Eva. It's a story about a girl with just a pinch of magic who's trying her best to become a witch, and she has to pass her witch's test or else she'll lose her powers forever. All right, so motivation and stakes. These are two things that are key for creating compelling characters. So what are they? Motivation. Motivation is how much a character wants something and why a character wants something. And then stakes. Stakes is the prize or what the character will gain. And so characters need strong motivations to be compelling. Motivations push and change a character's every action throughout the story. So you need an, it needs to be present in every single scene, every single interaction with, even with other characters or even with, internally with themselves. So for example, if you think about it, if you're hungry, uh, will you or your character, will you get something to eat or are you gonna go take a shower? Usually most people choose to get something to eat if they're hungry. So in that, for that example, their motivation is hunger and, and that, that forces, or that leads to their next action. A character motivation is key for small goals, but especially key for the overall big, big story, um, overall goal, mistakes too. So motivations, the good way to see if your story or your character has the right motivations is if it's constantly on their mind, kind of like a theme song. And so my question to you is, what is your character's theme song? And the way you see a change in the story is shows the development of the character because no character is perfect from the beginning. And the whole, one of the greatest parts of the story is seeing how the character develops. And so the beginning, the character is learning their theme song. It starts kind of, uh, kind of like a whisper or they're like, oh, I hope, I want, I wish for this, but they don't think it's achievable or they don't know how to achieve it yet. And then before the final battle or during the final battle, their song, their theme song gets louder and louder. And then right before, in that moment when everything seems lost, they think about everything that's happened, everything that they've learned throughout the course of the story. And then they gain the courage, strength, and ideas to win. So I'm going to go through a few examples of theme songs. Example number one, it's a hint, starting with a small boat. You can see if you can guess these examples. The first one is that literally a song that you may have heard on the radio a few years back. Um, it's called Fight Song. And in this, Rachel Platten, the singer, she's like, she talks about she's only one person. She only has one match. Um, but she, she can do her best to go get stronger. And oh, let me go back. And then it's her way of saying, hey, I can do this. I'll play my fight song. I don't care if anybody else believes in me, but I believe in me and that's what matters. And that's sort of her development over the course of the song to go from, hey, like, I, I, I don't know if I can do this, but, but I'm gonna try. And then, and then she's like, I'm gonna fight. Example number two, this story is a bit cold. So can you guess what the theme song is for this character in this story? Okay, if you guess Let It Go from Frozen, you are right. So it, over the course of the story, uh, Elsa, the, the princess, is certain that she is not going to be accepted for who she is. And then in, in the course of this song, she realizes she accepts herself for who she is. And that is a major character journey for Frozen. Example number three. Okay. This one is a bit of a flashback to maybe my childhood, so hopefully you may be able to guess this one too. But here's a hint. You gotta catch, can you guess, can you guess? Okay, here's another hint. Another hint? 
<laughs> so if you guys gotta catch them all, um, which is a theme song of Pokemon, you're right. So in this example, uh, Ash Ketchum starts off by, or is he, he declares he wants to be the very best. Um, and literally in the song it says, to catch them is my real test, to train them is my cause. So constantly, every episode, you're hit with this in the very beginning. And it reminds you, hey, this is what he is, this is what he stands for, and this is what he's going to do. So that's what, where your character comes in. And see, you can see if your character has their own theme song, too. So just a few resources that I find really helpful for finding a theme song or finding out what is best for your character is Save the Cat. Uh, there's a new version of Save the Cat, which is Save, Save the Cat writes a novel. Uh, but Save the Cat has what's called beat sheets, and it gives you an idea of the arc of a story, and you can see if your story matches up to it, or maybe revised to fit, fit this, fit um, a beat sheet. And then my second resource, of course, is to find your theme song. And I listen to some of the theme, theme songs that I've, I've used in this, um, in this exercise. But definitely you want to find the theme song, which may not even be out there in the world, but um, it's just within your story. But find the theme song for your main character that gives them the pizzazz or the fight that makes them who they are. So that's a very quick, short intro. Um, thanks for watching, and you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at Julia Books. You can tweet at me to say if you want any, if you have questions or want to know more about a different aspect of writing. And look forward to hearing from you. All right, bye.